It was a police emergency. It's like a vigilante. Garbage vigilante. You could say that, but don't. Hey, monk. How you doing? So far, so fabulous. I've done seven, eight, nine houses. Oh, good for you. That looks great. All right. Yeah. Do you intend to clean up the entire city by yourself? No. That's the plan, Stan. Street by street. One bag at a time. One bag at a time. One bag at a time. Where are you gonna put the garbage? I got it all figured. When this truck's full, I'm gonna drive it into the bay. Then come back, get another truck, keep driving them into the bay. One bag at a time. One truck at a time. One bag at a time. One truck at a time. Well, so long as you got a plan. Yeah. Give us Mike the case, remember? Jimmy Cusack. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. I solved that case about an hour ago. Wait, wait, you solved the case. Take a look, take a look, take a little look. This was stapled to a telephone pole that was right in front of us the whole time. He's the guy. Who's the guy? Alice Cooper? What? Are you telling us that Alice Cooper, the rock star, killed Jimmy Cusa? First off, I don't think Alice Cooper is his real name. But take a closer look. He is sitting in an antique wingback chair, the same kind of chair Jimmy Cusack was sitting in when he was killed. Check this out. Check it out, the date. April 5th, Monday night. Same night as the murder. Coincidence? Yeah, coincidence. Ah, no, no, we were, we were, we were looking at this case all wrong. It was never about Cusack. It was never about the garbage strike. It was never about the sanitation union. It was about the chair, the antique chair, the antique wing back Cusack chair. Here's what happened. It is no secret that rock and roll stars collect antiques, especially antique chairs. What the hell are you talking about? Alice Cooper must have read about Jimmy Cusack's handcrafted wing back chair. He was consumed with envy. He was consumed with resentment. Alice had to possess the fairest antique wingback chair in all the land. Should I be writing this down? Nope. It's true. Alice Cooper is a hippie, but he's the bad kind of hippie. He's the kind of hippie that breaks into people's offices, beats them up, and shoots them in the head. Why? To steal their antique chairs. Why didn't he take the chair? Hello? It had a bullet hole in it, had blood on it. He didn't want it anymore. He could have washed it. Randy, I don't think we need to stand here and pick apart the Alice Cooper wants an antique chair theory. You will excuse me. I have a city to clean. One bag at a time. 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 Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Hold on. It's all up to me. I got it. It's all up to me. It might be time to call Dr. Kroger. Stop! It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.